Several Futuro houses have been restored in Rotterdam, Australia, and Finland. But there is a choice between restoring this architectural masterpiece to its original factory configuration or customizing it. And I believe that the maestro, the late Matti Sorinen, would approve of customizing Futuro houses that are meant to be lived in. This is because they were sold either completely furnished or as a shell with flooring, heating, and air conditioning where the customer could configure his own interior. I've been living in this Futuro for more than 30 years and I would like to share with you some customizing tips for other people who live in these houses. First, the Futuro houses were originally painted with gel coat. The difficulty with gel coat is that over the years it won't stand up to the ultraviolet from the sunlight and since it's somewhat a part of the surface structure it needs to be protected. The best way I found to do this is to use a decent quality of latex house paint. This will keep the ultraviolet off of the gel coat and the latex house paint if it wears out needs scraping and repainting is very easy to maintain. A second suggestion is a skylight made out of a 16 inch diameter acrylic dome replacing the chimney because for one thing I'm a vegetarian and I don't uh, barbecue meat but another thing is it preserves the heat a little bit better you may need to add an extra inner window or something of that sort because in cold weather it will condense a little bit of dew that might drip down Here's an inside view of the skylight. And now the final special feature of the Futuro house was the retractable ramp with the steps on it. Unfortunately, when Futuros first came out of the factory, they were equipped with a rather complicated step retraction system that consisted of an electric motor that was underneath the floor with cables that went out through steel tubes and through pulleys that would raise and lower the ramp. These things invariably would wear out, they'd eat up the uh, pipes as the cable would drag upon the pipes, and the cables themselves wore out quite often. Additionally, the motors were very difficult to replace because they were a rather unusual type. Uh, so, sooner or later, many Futuros lost this, and some people put a spring-loaded system on where you'd raise and lower the door by hand, or some people just left them down and used a vestibule and maybe even build a vestibule around it. However, you can still have this electric door feature by just getting yourself a boat winch and bolting it directly to the wall above the hook where the cable pulls the door up. Let me show you what I mean. Here I've bolted a boat winch directly to the wall just above the hook on the door for raising up the door. You can use a boat winch that uses 120 volts house current, or you can use 12 volts and batteries so you're not at the mercy of the electrical system should the power go out. The switch for raising and lowering the door can be reverse engineered from what you get with a boat winch, and I suggest putting a switch both outside the house and inside either in the vestibule or inside the front door. You're going to need limit switches that shut the motor off when the door reaches the top. So a micro switch that's pushed by the door here will do the job very nicely. And down below, you can set up a micro switch on a bracket. Here there are three micro switches. One of them is for lowering the door, the other is for shutting off a remote control switch that I've installed and there's another one that controls some courtesy lights I made out of light emitting diode strips that are on the edges of the door steps. If you should have any questions about how to rig up the electricity for one of these door systems you can contact me at drbarney1 at juno.com or drbarney1 at yahoo.com and I'll help you out with this.
The advantage of being able to raise the door electrically is you can have an electrical key lock to shut it off when it's up and have much greater security for your house. And now, as Richard Wagner would say, this is theater.